Junior Learning House. So today we're doing square number seven on our uh, maths matrix. So let me show you what that looks like. All of the other squares have been colored in. If you haven't done them yet, go back and have a look at some of our other videos. But we're up to seven. So well done. So, and here it is, number seven. And I'll read it to you now. And all of the other squares are colored in because we've done them before. So let's have a look. Number seven, place value. I bought the numbers six, three, and nine to put on my letterbox. Hmm. What number could buy a house be? Can you find all of the combinations? So there's a lot to take in there. So let's start at the beginning and pause the video uh, until you've done this. Let's call this lesson place value. Make sure you've got the dates at the top so I can see when you've done it. Now the numbers that we need to rearrange are six, three, and nine. And what this work at home is asking us to do is to find different combinations or to mix up or jumble or mess about these numbers to make new numbers. All right, well, we've already written one down. 639. Very good. What if we keep the six in the hundreds column but we change these two numbers around. So now we have a nine in the tens column and a three in the ones column. Hmm. So we've got one, two. Is there a third number? Can you mix up the numbers again? Is there more than that? Hmm. So you have a bit of a thing. And write down as many different combinations with those three numbers as you can. Maybe you wanna move the nine to the hundreds column. Hmm, that's just an idea. Maybe there's some other ideas. Now, once you've done that, let's do something a little bit more challenging. Let's pick a few different numbers. Let's pick something with four numbers. Let's do one, seven, four, and let's use three again. Okay, well, there's one number. All right, well, what if I just change one of those numbers and mix it around? What if I swap the one and the seven? All right, well, we've got another number. There you go. What if I swap, instead of the one and the seven, what if I swap now the one and the four? There's another number. What if I swap, let's say, the one and the three? There you go. Is there any more that you can find? Well, the seven's been there the whole time. So what if you start moving the seven around? So can you show me a few different numbers? So it's all about changing the place value or changing which number is in the hundreds, which is in the tens, or which is in the ones. And if you make it past that, and you want more of a challenge, well, which number is in the thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones? And can you move it around? And hey, if you want a really big challenge and you want to really just try and you know do the best maths work that you can today, maybe even try something with five numbers. Whoa, that's a very big number. 83,241. Now, if you're unsure on how to say any of the numbers, still just try and think, all right, well, I'm going to move this one over there. Maybe I'll move that one. See how many different combinations that you can make and I would love to see that. So try not to do the same group of numbers again. So I couldn't write 639. I couldn't write that again, 639. I couldn't write that there because I've already done it. So have a bit of a think and do as many different examples as you can. Maybe challenge yourself to write down what answers would be uh, for, the, for the last one. I'm just gonna swap that and that number. So we're gonna have a three at the start then an eight, then I'm gonna keep two, four, one the same. There you go, there's another example. But that's it for today, so spend a little bit of time and practice, and maybe if all of this was a little bit too hard and you're looking at just a very quick warm up, well, what you could do is you could just do it with two numbers. Let's say we had 62. Okay, well, we're gonna change the tens and the ones. So we're gonna swap them around and we're gonna make 26 instead of 62. That's just how quick and easy it can be. So well done for making it through another lesson. We've done another square, so we can of course color it in. I'll see you for another video very soon.